All right, come on, Ned. Come on, Ned, you got it. Nice and easy. Let's go, buddy! Bro. Let's go, buddy! Bro! Dude, that's seven. That's a 16. 16, bro. Oh, buddy! 16. Here we dude, go. hell yeah, dude. That's me. Here We're we back in it. Let's go. go! And that's my friend, Martin. Oh. And we just pulled up a fish that could win us $1,000. Here's how we got into this mess. Today, there are competitors up and down the state of California and all the way to Oregon. It's an online surf perch tournament. It's the more than fishing tournament. We're pretty excited and another plot twist. It's a team competition. So today our team name is the 805 underdogs. And by our, I mean our morning. Welcome back to another hook to cook episode. 7.01 AM. Code and word is kindness. So the code word is something that you have to say when you submit your catches to ensure that it's a fair competition so you can't enter a fish that you caught last week because how are you gonna know that code word stay tuned we're gonna catch some big boys we have had good luck in this spot in the past but since the waves are so high it's actually crashing within casting distance and that's one thing you want to look for you want to look for if where you're casting is getting crashed on by the beach or by the waves because when it crashes, that's when it turns up perch food. So if you're able to run your bait right by where all that turbulence is going on, fish might think that something got dislodged and now they can go for it. Maybe I should throw the grub while you throw that. All right, so we tried here for about 15, 20 minutes. And it's definitely a force to be reckoned with in terms of that king tide. Some nice sweeping waves. But since we're both throwing the plug, it might be a better strategy since we haven't fished here for a little while to go ahead and use a Carolina rig more as a fish finding tool. And if we're able to get them on the Carolina rig, we know that the fish are around. We've been grubbing now for a bit, working our way down. And the water's just real nasty. It's like chocolate milky. <laughs> it's not good, but we are prepared to hit multiple spots today. And we're prepared to fish all day. So this will not deter us because right now it is peak high tide, but it could definitely switch as the tide changes, as the wave power gets less and less. They might even be really good at slack tide, so we'll fish pretty much all day. Text Jun Kitain. What do you want to say? Bro! Exclamation point. Why did you pick the king tide? Question mark. Just texted June more than fishing. <laughs> Why did you pick the king tide? <laughs> king tides all have to do with the gravitational pull of the moon. Basically draws the water up off the earth. Fish, 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 fish. Feels like a decent one. Feels like a decent one. All right. All right. I was just texting the guys that I just got a bump. I want to keep the line tight on this guy. He might just feel bigger than he really is because it's a really short rod. Oh yeah. Finally. Got a fish. Hopefully I could submit this one for the tournament. Maybe, maybe. So minimum length for this tournament is 11 inches. Let's see if we got an 11 inch in our, on our hands. It's a catch and release tournament. So I need to make sure he stays alive. There you go. 11 and a half, let's go. First one. Oh, so the code word is kindness. 
Am I forgetting anything? Shoot, I hope I'm not. Voila, he gone. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Competitor badge, measuring tape, say the code, release, mouth closed, cool. That was a huge morale booster. And right now I just wanna show you guys what that fish came out of. You should be able to clearly see right here between these two foamy parts where it's shallow on both sides, there's a nice pocket right in the middle that that fish came out of. I got one little nibble and then two casts later, boom, got him. So it's a closer look at what I was talking about. You'll see there's foamy water on both sides of this hole that I'm targeting. Hopefully this helps you guys out, even if you're not fishing a tournament and you just want to get a, on a good bite. This is indicative of some really good structure right in front of us right now. My tackle box, baby. There's my badge. Fishing code is kindness. 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 Please Clark, kindness. First one of the At this point, competition up and down the state is really, really heating up. And I'm sitting here catching a bunch of small ones. It's time to Nine change inches. spots. Not gonna make the cut. <laughs> Martin just got the leg cramp. Dude, this is not funny. <laughs> this hurts. Like you know, you get those cramps where like it indents. It's one of, it's one of those. <laughs> you did walk to. You did walk like four miles today. Dude, and you were in the water. I need some like mustard. <laughs> mustard. Mustard and water. Mustard and water. Have you ever, ever done that? No. Yeah, mustard and water. That's what we did for football. That sounds terrible. Dude, it, it's, you know how they say it, banana or whatever. Yeah. Dude, mustard and water is the fastest way to cure um, mm. uh, crap. Mm. I don't know mustard though. Learn something every day. <laughs> now you know. Mustard and water. <laughs> Quick little location switch. Water's way nicer here. We'll see if we can't make some magic happen. Not measurable. Please be some big ones mixed in, please. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Oh, it's a rubber lip. Oh, thank God. These count. Yeah. All species of perch count. Woo. All right, guys. That's it's awesome. On the zero. Oh, sorry. And the, there's a secret code word. And the secret code word is kindness today. Kindness? Kindness, yes. And it's uh, just under 12 and a half. Perfect. But this is a rubber lip, so we're going to go ahead and release release them we'll let them go how many people are in it do you it's know like 60. 60 people yeah all the way up from Oregon. yep and then we have to release them so that we can't re-measure the same one over and over and over <laughs> <That makes sense. laughs> thanks june for uh including this species beautiful fish even more beautiful because it counts there he goes there he goes swimming swimming right there so we started the morning at what? Seven? No. Yeah, about seven. And it is currently 4.36 p.m. We fished hard, man. Fished hard. Martin got a bunch of like tens, and I got a bunch of eights, nines, and tens, and fortunately got that 11 and a half and that just under 12 and a half. So 12 and 11 and a half. Definitely not gonna put us on that leaderboard. <laughs> Adam and Ish at this point are the team to beat. Just not sure where we're gonna find those 15 inchers. Tail is at zero. We have an 11 inch Bart Surf Perch, 13 inch Bart Surf Perch. 13 inch Bart Surf Perch. He, tail, he's still breathing. So with these fish, the 11 and the two 13 inch fish, Martin okay. kept us in the game. These okay. put us in fifth place within striking distance of winning the whole thing. 
All we Come needed on. were a few 15 inch fish. There he goes. Let's go. All right, we need a miracle today. We need a big miracle. 15 inches is what we need. We're currently in fifth place, but it's a half an inch that separates third place from fifth place. So we literally just need three good fish today to make this happen. Martin just lost his lure. Hopefully I can snag it, that'd be cool. That's one cool part about team, team fishing is if one person's out of commission, the other person can still fish, so you always got a chance. It's like doubling your odds. There you go. Got one. Let's go. Feels good, feels good. Feels good. All right, come on, Ned. Come on, Ned, you got it. Nice and easy. Let's go, buddy! Oh. Let's go, buddy! Bro! Dude, that's seven. That's a 16. 16, bro. Oh, buddy! 16. Here we Dude, go. Dude, hell yeah. Here we We're go. We're back in it. Let's go. go. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're back in it, bro. We just need. So, what are we using? Sardine glow. Sardine glow. Sardine glow. Whew. All right, guys. We got a monster. We got a monster. Let's go, Here. dude. Here. Recording? All right. Uh, today's uh, term is gratitude. Oh, brother. Gratitude is the word today. Okay. Oh. About to pull a Mike's tackle box, get hit in the face. Zero. Zero. It's 15, buddy. Zero to 15. Can you see it? Wipe the number. Wipe. There we go. There's the 15 right there. 15 incher, guys. 15 incher. Gratitude, right? Gratitude? Gratitude. And the badge? There's the badge. There's my badge. Gratitude, 15. Just the uh, measuring tank more than fishing. Yeah! <laughs> 15! 15! Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Look how beautiful. That's a that's the fish we needed right there. Woo! Yeah! Hell yeah! That fish came at 7:40 a.m. That left us so hopeful that we would see more of that quality fish. That fish shot us up to third place from fifth place, and by the end of the day, we didn't see any more big fish. We left that beach that day in third place which put us in the money but at the last minute third place jerome and albert lorenzo took over third ish with fish and die hard fishing ended up in second and omar and luis sanchez ended up taking first place with 44.75 inches with their top three fish they took home a one thousand dollar top prize second place took home five hundred dollars and third place took home 300. If you guys want to join in the fun for next year's tournament, go to morethanfishing.net and sign up for updates whenever the next tournament is. Well, yeah, that concludes it. More Than Fishing 2021, last tournament of the year. It was a way to end the year. One cool thing was uh, where we fished was where we fished for the first time together as friends. So that was really cool to end the tournament with a great teammate at the spot we fished for the very first time with Dylan four years ago so it's all kind of coming full circle stay tuned next year third place for now we might again get bumped but not winning leaves kind of a, a 
fishy taste in our mouths. Anyway, we're gonna end this like our boy Martin. Until next time, keep fishing on. Peace.